Now we're going to look at cos. So to the Greeks, cos meant something different. What cos meant was, let's say we were standing at B over here, angle B. Now, sometimes you might want to know the ratio between the adjacent. So adjacent means next to. Some of you might be saying, but Kevin, isn't this one also next to? Yes, you are right, it is. But we call that side the hypotenuse of a triangle. Okay, so let's quickly look at that. If we are looking at this angle here, then, oh, it's a terrible looking triangle, but this over here is the opposite of this angle. Then this side over here will be the adjacent because it's next to, and then the long one, which is opposite the 90 degrees, that's always going to be called the hypotenuse. Let's look at a different triangle. So if we were looking at this angle over here, then the opposite would be this one. The adjacent is the one that's next to over there, and then the hypotenuse is that one over there. So if we were in this blue triangle and we were looking, we were standing at angle B, then EF would be your adjacent, and GF or FG would be your hypotenuse. And that's what cos is. Cos is all about the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Whereas we saw in the previous video, sin is opposite over hypotenuse. So imagine two Greek mathematicians or scientists or engineers, they were busy designing something and they're standing across a dam from each other because they're busy building a project that extends across a dam or a lake and there's heavy winds and they don't want to have to say, hey, what is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse? So they'll just shout across the dam and they'll say, hey, what is cos? And then they would understand what cos meant and then they could easily get the answer. Cos for them was just the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So think of it as they don't want to have to say adjacent over hypotenuse the whole time. So they just said, hey, what is cos? Or hey, what is sin? All right. So cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, whereas sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And so let's look at this red triangle. If you were standing at angle A and you wanted to know the cos, well, remember cos is the adjacent. So the adjacent of that one is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5. So the way you would write that is that the cos of A is equal to 3 over 5. If you were standing at B instead, well then the cos of B would be the adjacent. Now the adjacent to B, remember adjacent means next to, so now it would be the 4. And the hypotenuse is always going to be the same, so that would be the 5. Moving on to the green triangle, the cos of A would be the adjacent one first, which is the one that's next to. Remember, 13 is also next to, I know that, but it's the, the 13 is going to be called the hypotenuse instead because that's the longest side. And then if you were at B, you'd say the cos of B, well, the adjacent is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13. And so you'd say 5 over 13.